everyone, it's Kelly for Soy and Shane. Thank you for joining me for another soap making video. This week I treated myself to a whole load of new fragrance oils from my supplier with the intent of turning them all into soap over the next coming days and weeks. And as I went through smelling them all to see what I wanted to do, this one immediately jumped out in my mind and it's Raspberry Lemonade and I knew exactly how I wanted this soap to look. It's a sweet yet refreshing fragrance with top notes of lemon zest and juicy lime. Through the middle you get hints of raspberry, coconut and lavender and it's all on a base of sour cherry, cassis and vanilla. So keeping that in mind I want my base of the soap to be white and I'm going to drop, um, drop swirl some yellow and pink through it. So for my yellow I'll be using Tuscan Sun from My Micro Obsession and for the pink I'm doing a special blend using Raspberry Rush from Bath Bomb World and Really Red Mica from Nurture Soap and my white will be done using Titanium Dioxide which has been dispersed in a little bit of water. Um, this is going to be a piped top soap and I knew immediately how I wanted the top of it to look and then because I didn't have the mould for the embeds I went ahead and created my own mould using some silicon. There's lots of tutorials out there on how to create these silicon moulds and then once I have my silicon ready I've pushed fresh raspberries in, or actually there were frozen raspberries into the silicon mold and left it to sit overnight and now I've made myself some little raspberry embeds using some um, no sweat melt and pour. So let's go and make this soap. So in my big bucket I have my oils and I have coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter and castor oil and in my smaller bucket here is my lye water which is distilled water and sodium hydroxide and that the quantities needed I've used soap calc to calculate them. I'm going to pour my lye water down my stick blender into the oils then give it a little bit of a mix and then separate it out for the colours before I'll add the fragrance which I'll hand stir in. seems to be behaving really well for me so now that I've said that it's probably going to accelerate on me but I thought I might try a slightly different way of pouring this in to see if I can get a slightly different swirl so I've got my wooden loaf mold here with my silicon liner now I've also got a piece of ribbon which I've run through the bottom of the mold before putting the silicon liner in it and this is just to help me um, pull the silicon mold out later without having to push up the bottom of um, the soap mold which seems to really damage my soaps so all net yet this is now starting to thicken up on me a little but I'll see if I can still work with it I'm just gonna see about pouring the colors down just to the one side and then putting a hanger through but yes this is starting to really thicken so, oh, but the yellow's staying quite nice and fluid. We'll see what happens.
so I have my buckets all completely scraped out. The sort of thing I was hoping to try I don't think has really worked out but I still think I'm going to get some really nice swirls through there so I'm not too bothered. Um, I'll try again when I've got one that doesn't kind of start accelerating on me after it's given me the illusion that it's going to be well behaved. But it's still quite pliable and, and movable so I'm just I've given the mold a bit of a tap down to get any air bubbles out that might be in there and now I'm just making sure that I've got a nice level top going all the way up to the edges and into the corners of my mold and then I'm going to go and prepare the piping batter and then we'll come back and pipe the top. piping all ready to go. The great thing about fragrance oils that do decide to accelerate on you um, is that your icing or your piping tends to set up that little bit quicker which is great for that piping consistency. So I've got it in my piping bag and in the bottom here I have a Wilton 1A piping tip which is just the large round hole. You've seen me, I've got some mica drizzle set up to the one side to go onto the top of here but for now I'm just going to pop on my little dollops of cream. Now I know that usually a raspberry lemonade wouldn't have cream on it um, but I decided that I would but then I suppose you do get sort of your spider drinks and things which do have the cream on the top I just never really ask for it because I don't particularly like cream so, but I need somewhere to put my little embeds that I've made. So I thought, well, we'll put some little cream dollops on each of the soaps. drizzle on the top because I don't want it going onto my embeds so I've got a little bit of that Tuscan Sun mixed into some olive oil and I'm just gonna drizzle it over the top backwards and forwards so I think that's bad enough whenever I've got some of this micro drizzle left if I know I've got other soaps coming up which I'm going to use those particular colors in I will save that for my next soap or I might use it to color the next soap as well so it doesn't matter if I've mixed up too much this again is some of that raspberry rush from bath bomb world mixed with some really red mica from um, nurture soaps and I'm just gonna add some of that over the top as well and then we'll get to putting the embeds in which I've made using melt and pour soap so here are the embeds that I'm going to be putting into my soap. Now these are, let's get a few out for you to see. These are my little raspberries which came out of that mold. So I'm pretty pleased with them. We've also got some little lemon wedges to go in there and just a couple of little mint leaves and some straws to go in it too. So I'll start popping these in.
I've noticed while doing that that the red mica has really kind of faded. I was hoping not to have to put any of this on afterwards, but I've decided to put a little bit more mica into the oil and just carefully drizzle a little bit more of the pink over the top and hopefully not ruin it. And then I'm also going to add a very light dusting of some Blizzard Mica from my Mica Obsession, which I've got in one of the Nurture Soaps glitter pump sprays. So we get a really nice misting of glitter over the top because I just feel this soap needs that little bit of an extra added sparkle. So we have the Blizzard Mica, and I'm just going to give that a good spray over the top. Okay, so there we have it. That is my raspberry lemonade. Lots of raspberries, glitter, drizzle and all sorts on there. So we will let this one sit for about 24 to 48 hours and then I'll come back and cut and we'll see what sort of swirl we end up with on the inside. Hi everyone, we are back to cut raspberry lemonade. It is looking beautiful and smelling really sweet and gorgeous. Um, it has gone a little bit yellower on the white while it's saponified, um, but that's okay because it is a lemonade after all. I've also gone straight for my single bar cutter here, which is from Pure Delights here in Australia, and there is a link down below for their site. So we'll see what sort of pattern that we got in this one. Because remember, this one did thicken up on me um, while I was trying to pour. Okay. And this one is the first one. Okay, so we've got a quite a thick swirl but oh there's some yellow on that side so that's actually come up quite pretty um, on that cut so I'm quite pleased with how that one's come up I was a little bit worried considering that um, swirl really didn't go as per my plan B um, so very happy with how this one is looking so far and hopefully as we get further down we'll keep those nice swirls And here is another one. So each one has got the raspberry on top, a slice of lemon and the mint leaf and the straw. And the straw just needs to be removed prior to use. Now, one of my sort of, I suppose you could call it New, New Year's resolution this year, though I'm not really one into making New Year's resolutions. I just met, set myself goals for the year. But one of them was to stop procrastinating a thing about things and just start doing them. So one of the things I've been procrastinating about for a long time is going on to Etsy. And I've had my website for quite a few years now and it ticks along just nicely. But I've always been curious about selling on Etsy as well. So last week I decided, seeing as some of the first soaps that I did on the YouTube channel were ready, I thought, well, now's as good a time as ever to start that Etsy shop and put on all the soaps that I've been making on YouTube. So I have done that. Um, my shop name is under Soy and Shea Australia. Now at this stage I am only shipping within Australia and that is simply because when I've looked at the shipping costs to send a kilo worth of stuff to let's say America um, it was going to cost me about $45. Now I sell my soaps from anywhere from about $6 to $7 or $7.50 so if you were to buy four soaps from me um, that would be about 28 Australian dollars and then you're having to pay a little under double that to get that shipped to you as well and I just really couldn't see the sense in that plus I think there are so many awesome soap makers in other countries that I didn't want to step on any of their toes so if you if you would prefer a selling 
platform such as Etsy, you can now find me on there. And I have the same flat rate shipping that I offer on my website of the $9.95. The advantage with coming onto my website and purchasing from me is that I do run a loyalty program whereby for every dollar you spend you do get points and they can actually be converted into um, dollars which you can spend later on on whatever you want to. And on my website I do allow you to pay with PayPal, credit card or direct deposit as well. So I'm going to keep cutting this soap up, then pop it onto the curing rack for the next um, four to six weeks before popping this one onto Etsy, my website, and also available at the markets that I go to each week. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me make my interpretation of raspberry lemonade. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. Um, if you have any requests for a soap that you might like me to make, then you can also leave that down in the bottom. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel and I will bring you another video next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.